Hey everybody, we are back with another episode of Star Sand. We are 20 episodes deep. If you remember our last episode, we found the sand screw finally. And now we are going to start cruising the desert and looking for the collectible beetles to put in our terrariums. We have already crafted our sand screw. And this is what it does. <laughs> and on top of that, we have our terrarium up here. Ooh, nice. But we just don't have any bugs to put in it yet. So, make sure that we have enough food. Why does this always get reset? I don't even know. Um, We'll make some of that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's just craft this up real fast. All right, grab a drink of water and we will head out. All right, Jeffrey, let's make sure that we feed you. We are on the search for the scarab beetles. Yeah, yeah. Now on our live stream, when we were cruising around the desert and uh, looking for the location of the sand screw uh, recipe, we were able to find a lot of the beetles that were uh, hanging out in the sand. But every time we tried to go and pick them up, they burrowed under the sand. Therefore, that's why we needed the sand screw. So we're going to be revisiting some of these locations. And uh, fingers crossed, we'll find some beetles. But... How's everybody doing out there? Uh, at the time that I'm recording this, this is the evening of what Mother's Day. I hope every all the mothers out there had a, a wonderful day. And uh, if you're not a mother, I hope that you least sent your mother a Mother's Day card. You know, wishing them a happy Mother's Day. Got them some flowers or took them out to dinner. I know with my mother. Um, I, I legitimately had to work today, but I took a few hours off and went and uh, had lunch with my mother. Uh, yeah. It was good. It was a good time to spend a couple hours with her, and uh, we bought her flowers and got her a nice Mother's Day card. A good time. But, you know, the I only got to spend a couple hours, and then I had to go back to work at my regular day job. <laughs> so, I mean... Really wish I could have spent more time, but, you know, it is what it is. So far, I haven't seen any of uh, the scarabs yet. And I'm wondering if there's a specific time of the day if they like to come out. And maybe some of them come out in the mornings and some of them come out in the evenings just to be like a preference thing of when they might actually come out of the sand and you might find them. Back here in our original camp area. Just a <laughs> I never actually gotten seen, uh, gotten to seen the frogs just hang out without them running around or running away like so. It is getting to be nighttime, so let's try to cruise over to um, another area where I know I have. Uh, a place to sleep. Maybe we might find a, a desert beetle on the way. Hopefully. I know I try not to make any videos. Like, you know, I've, I've you, you probably heard me say this many times before. I try not to be uh, recording or making a video in the, in the nighttime and stuff like that. But sometimes when I am crossing the desert like this, um, it kind of gets to the point um, where, like, I might hit there and it doesn't have a place to sleep. So... Sometimes it happens, you know, you just got to bear with me, and I understand if it kind of gets a little bit hard to see at times. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. This first bug, I believe. Shoot, where did I see it? Oh, right, right, right here, right. Is it over here? Where? Oh, it's right over here. Stupid Jeffrey, you put me on the wrong side. Huh. 
Put the sand screw. Can I pick it up? Yes! Our first bugs, ladies and gentlemen. Josh Jockian. Oh, I can't see like the doesn't tell you anything about it. Cool. All right, we're coming up on uh what is this? I believe this is area number 6 I have it marked as. The oasis, one in the crocodile oasis. If you guys haven't found the crocodile, this is one of the spots you can find the crocodile in. Definitely uh hit it up, get some of that crocodile fat and uh make some bandages. All right, save. We'll sleep. We'll see you in the morning. All right, we are here on area six. Started at two, ran down the three, came over at six. Uh, found one bug so far. I don't know why I don't have a bed in here. Why don't I put a bed in here? I don't know. One of these times, we're going to have to... They'll probably be on a stream and we'll build a base over here or um, not a base, but like an another little homestead, if you will. But we're going to grab some more fruit and things here. Do we got anything left in the fires? T some you ever done that where you're just cruising around and you just kind of leave things in the fires as you're like kind of just literally just pretty much just exploring? All right there, Jeffrey. I hope that you're uh, well rested. Okay, and I believe we're going to head south, or north. We're going to head north and hit up these little chain. I mean, we'll, yeah, we'll hit up this chain, and then we'll try to cut across. And hopefully we'll find something um, on our way. Oh, I got him. I wasn't really, like, talking because I didn't know if it was going to come up. What? But we did get another beetle. Jash Quinn? I don't even know if I'm saying this stuff right, but that's the second one. We are well on our way to a full collection. Two out of, what, how many do we have? Like, eight? Was it eight? No. Uh, nine. Two out of ten. Now, one thing I'm wondering is, uh, are these beetles, like, by region? Like, sections on the map, you'll find different beetles, or are they just kind of random? You find what you find. Get what you get. Not 100% sure. But I hope my audio levels are, are, are okay. Um, one thing that I know that I'm very horrible with... <laughs> <laughs> is my audio levels and uh it's like an ever improving process that i have to go through on like actually trying to improve my audio levels and making sure that you guys can hear the sound all right and you can hear my voice all right it's not too quiet i kind of feel like some of the videos that um my voice is really like too quiet in the video or at least maybe it just sounds like that because I was like on what device I was listening to my video on, trying to like see. Um, maybe it's different if I'm watching it on like say like the computer versus like my phone or putting it on my TV or something like that. But one of the things that I don't do that maybe I should do I don't even know. But um, after I get done editing, I really don't really watch through the videos. I just get done editing. Um, I'm kind of like at the point where it's like after I get done the editing process is like I just want to upload it and get done and usually I'm doing it late at night like I'm doing right now and I know that it's going to take a while to render it and get it uploaded on YouTube so I'm not really watching it but hopefully the audio levels are really good and since I'm still relatively new to YouTube um, you know, I was mainly a primary, primarily, um, 
just streaming on Twitch, um, I'm trying to switch everything over to YouTube. And while doing that, I, I know I, like, I goofed up a bunch of settings because I don't know what the heck I'm doing with YouTube <laughs> as of currently. Um, it's still a learning process, but I'm hoping to get better. Oh, oh, what do we got? What do we got? Where's it at? There it is. It's right there. What did we get? Oh, Shiza. We got the Josh Pierre. Pierre. Ja, is it Josh or Ja? Drew? Come on, Jeffrey. What are you laying down on the job for? All right, get your booty up. Let's go. We got beetles to find. We can't let someone else collect all the beetles before me. Shoot. The heck. You know what? I haven't been up here. This is interesting. Have I just found an area that I've never been to? Out of 20 episodes, I've never been up here? Or am I just like completely dumb and don't understand that I'm actually in an area that I have been, but on, um, I don't even know. I guess we'll find out here shortly. I mean, we were heading north, right? So I think that I'm over here, but probably I'm like somewhere over here and I'm just have spaghetti brain and I just don't know where the heck I'm at. Which, you know, it's 100% possible. I mean, I, I do have a sp spaghetti for a brain. Or at least it feels like it sometimes. And I think that this is one of those times where I legitimately have spaghetti for a brain. And I'm thinking that we are literally right around here. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, spaghetti brain it is. Oh. All right. Well, now we're going to get bugs. So anybody that doesn't know, we've literally have came up this way. And now we're coming down. So we should be heading around this area where the ruined tower is. And I believe it was the third ruined tower that I found. And uh, we got a little bit of an earthquake, so we know a bug, uh, uh, a bug alien. You know, I don't even know what to call them anymore. I guess just, I'm going to try to say aliens, but I'm going to keep saying bugs because I'm just, you know, whatever. But we're going to have an alien attack here soon. At least they're on their way. There's tower number three. That was the third tower that I discovered. The one thing I need to do is I actually need to start carrying that... Um, that armor with me because uh i'm able to take so many more shots and it makes fighting them so much more easier than say wearing the jumpy suit um that i'm currently wearing right now so i'm gonna see if we can make it back to our home before the aliens get here Ooh, 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 did we find... Oh, we found another bug. All right. Let's make sure we get off the camel. Of course, he's going to go... We find this stuff when uh, freaking aliens Let's get, jump on and we'll get on our way real fast before the stupid aliens come up here. All right, so... We've now got a needler... I don't even know how to say the other word, but we got a needler bug beetle. Nice. Oh, oh, we found another one. Okay. Did I get off Jeffrey in the right spot? Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Ooh, it looks purple. All right, let's get on them and get going before freaking bugs show up. So, we do have Clemonon? Clemonon? Purple bug. <laughs> it 
It's the purple bug. All right, we're coming back up to the old homestead here. Now, I literally thought that it would take me a lot longer to find a lot of these bugs than what it has. I, I really feel like I can either just do a long episode and just find them all, or I kind of I kind of want to break it up into two episodes. Sure, and I didn't think that it was I was gonna find um, as many as I did um, so fast. Let's go throw these bugs up in uh, our terrarium here real fast. E to open. So we got the purple bug, blue bug. I guess it's yellow, orange, and green. We're going to have to build another terrarium to get all these bugs up in here. But yeah, look at that. That's awesome. They even glow. How cool is that? Like, that is awesome. I think I'm going to end the episode there. We just want to make a quick one. Uh, I appreciate everybody, all my viewers, everybody that comes in and likes all my videos or watches them. I hope that uh, my videos help you guys. And, uh, you know, do me a favor. If, 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 if you like them and they help you out, leave a like on the video. Comment if you want to comment. But uh, I appreciate everyone that comes around and hangs out. Um, I'm going to try to get another YouTube stream in. Um, maybe this week. No no promises because I don't really set schedules on that. Um, but, yeah. I appreci appreciate everybody that stops in. And I hope everyone has a good morning, a good evening, or a good night. Depending on where you're at. And we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.